Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well on this beautiful summer day. Today I'll be showing you how to make VMD work in your Honey Select Studio. VMD is a small tab from the Honey Select Studio add-ons mod. I'll be sure to link that in the description so we don't have any trouble finding it. Let's get started. Control I to open your advanced IK. Well, it's called advanced IK, but you can choose your tab. Let's go into VMD. It's the last one over here. Press on. And I have the um, the remains of an old animation I loaded earlier to test it out. Loading an animation isn't very hard. You go into these three dots over here. And I have a lot of VMD animations in a file that I made right before. You can actually see the director over here. It goes into your C, your user, um, well, my name, desktop run and such run and such is called well it's called like that because the folder is called like that on my desktop let's go into more maybe run i don't think i'm gonna go with run i'm gonna go with box i could go with something like hmm. more ladylike let's try that out once you selected your VMD file, it want to load. Well, press load. Now this is not running because the speed is at zero. If I go to that speed up, the animation will play. Not all animations will play properly because some models are made with larger leg bones. Others are made with longer um, arms. Some even have some hips that are on, not on the right position. You can always tweak these settings over here. Um, imagine if I tweak, for instance, the upper arm. Oh, and if you do a tweak on these settings, you'll have to reload your animation. As you can see, the arms are too, too much inside. I can make her have her arms way up over there. But yeah, it's all about finding that right spot. Because not all skeletons are the same. Especially when you take some from uh, MMD, which I think is Miku, Miku Dance, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, hope this was useful. It's really not complicated at all. You just need to find the right files and load them in and maybe do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, there are a lot of options here, but you won't be needing a lot of these. You can literally remove the, <laughs> the IKs on the legs. I do not um, recommend doing that. So yeah, hope to see you guys on the next tutorial. Have a good day.